Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Raka golf cart offered at Tractor Supply. This is the RGC1, that's the model name. We've had this car for about four or five months and it was delivered here to live a tough life on our farm. So, you know, this is probably more of a suburban kind of thing where someone's gonna be taking this thing to the pool or riding around on a golf course, but we brought this here and our job is to torture test it. Let's see how tough this thing is. Let's see how it survives. How's the battery life? How's it off-road? It has been a warrior. It's had to do a lot of hard work and probably things that you wouldn't buy a golf cart to do. But we had some specific things we really wanted to try and some things we talked about, like why would you get something like this? Which we'll dig into here in a little bit, but I want to talk about the things we love about it, the things I don't like about it, and we're going to be brutally honest with you. If you bought one of these things, which are selling like hotcakes, um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think and if you're enjoying it. And if you're new to the channel or new to this product, or if you've watched previous videos and you're saying, gosh, we can't find this thing anywhere, this is an in-store only. However, we've had a lot of success with uh, a lot of you folks that have said, hey, I'm interested. I want to buy one of these things or I want to see one. Can my store get one? Talk to your store manager, ask them to ask to get one and they can get one. There's more and more of these things showing up every day. So anyway, it's getting really cold out here. So let's dig into this thing. Let's talk about this machine and we're gonna show you all the ways that we've used it. And I hate to say abused it, but that was kind of our job, right? So, all right, let's talk about this machine. So again, this is the RGC one. Uh, I, I love this color. I love the look of it. It's very, very comfortable. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you something surprising that you probably won't believe. But anyway, uh, some of the things that we've really noticed and in the first video, I know that a lot of you heard the rattle. There was a huge rattle up here. This was not on, you can actually see this bolt's still a little bit loose, but that's why you heard that horrible rattle. That's one thing that I would say is a letdown about this cart was some of the rattles on the roof. Uh, the windshield we've had some rattles with too. I've had some folks say that they've taken self-tapping screws and screw that windshield right to the frame to make sure that it doesn't rattle. I didn't have that much of an issue with it. You know, you do have some sound on it. I had a comment saying that this is kind of a value windshield. Well, guess what? This is a value cart. This cart is only $8,000. So I actually had a comment saying, I was out of line for saying only $8,000, but I don't know where you're finding any machines or equipment for that kind of money anymore. So anyway, it does come equipped with everything that you would need, you know, depending on where you live to make it street legal. It did come with their rear view mirror on here, which I took down. I didn't want to lose it. I've installed this rack. I love this rack. This rack is so handy. I've got all kinds of stuff, a trail camera, and you know, it's got some work gloves. You know, we're doing a little you know, target practice. This, I think, would be an excellent, excellent skeet shooting cart. So if you're somebody who likes to go sh uh, skeet shooting, I think it would be great for that. And when I told you that we're using this thing, I mean, I'm not lying to you. I mean, this thing is, it's dirty. It's been used and uh, scratched up and beat up and it's really kind of taking everything we can give it. I did take the golf cart bag things off and put these uh, racks on here, not just for, you know, pew pews, but also for shovels and, um, you know, tee posts and things like that, which is very, very handy. Also, I just, you know, put a little ammo can on there for some waterproof storage. We do have some storage down here, which is where I have the golf cart bag holder things, I guess you'd call them. Um, but really, this thing shines by you know carrying people i don't know if i really even talked about this as much before but you have this these charging ports on both sides and um you know there's just lots of features of the cart that i like the seats are super super comfortable they're soft uh i've had a lot of great comments and feedback from people who've written this that have said they love the seats i like the steering wheel how comfortable it is i like that the cup holder will hold one of these big tumblers that we're all carrying around now some of the things that i don't like which you may actually really really like I don't like the tires. I think they look insanely cool. I think if you're in your neighborhood, you are going to be the coolest person in the neighborhood driving these things around. But the problem is there's not a lot of rubber on here. So if I had a, a thicker rubber tire, I would have a lot more give on a farm when you're riding over rough terrain. You can actually air down, down the tires a little bit and get a softer ride. But these are very hard tires and I think that that stroke makes the uh, suspension struggle a little bit. I can adjust the suspension, which I haven't done yet. You can see here it's adjustable. Um, that's something that I will do. Maybe I'll do a video on that if that's something you all wanna see. But I don't think that this is the wrong choice for Rock. I think they picked the right tire. I think for us, I think that we probably would pick a thicker walled tire 
and air it down a little bit that's a heavy ply because that will eat up a lot of the terrain out here. This is a torturous place to test a vehicle, uh, especially a golf cart in I want to say kudos to the folks at Rocka for sending this out here and having the courage to do that because we've tested pretty hardcore side-by-sides and, and machines out here and, and a lot of them have struggled. The headlights give you a nice amount of light, but that light bar really kind of ups ante when it comes to having some light and being able to see in the dark. This thing lights up like a Christmas tree in the dark. And of course, having this brush guard's really nice. I think it has a lot of cool looks to it. It does hold the light bar, but there's not a lot of protection under here, but again, this thing is meant for asphalt, maybe gravel, maybe some, you know, some pretty manicured grass, but it is not meant for what we're really using it for. This could be a cool machine for someone who uses this in the neighborhood and then, you know, come fall, if they're a hunter or an outdoorsman or outdoors woman, they could take it out there and they can use it to hunt with, which you absolutely can. It's capable of doing that. If we went out and bought this thing specifically for using here on the farm, I would probably either take the roof off or I would look at a different kind of roof system that may upgrade the roof because the cart's fantastic. Everything that I have any complaints about this cart really start from here up. And that's probably the cheapest part of this thing to replace. Now, when we talk about battery life, everyone wants to rag uh, lead acid batteries. I can't run the batteries down on this thing. I keep trying. We run it all around the farm. We do loops. We have the kids driving around and we just can't run the batteries out. It's great. I haven't plugged it in for a week at a time and we still have power. Now, will they run out? Yes. I'm not sitting here saying that they never run out. But what I am saying is that they're very, very uh, good. So if you're thinking that you want to have a lithium battery or you want to buy something that's like, you know, thousands of dollars more, if you're playing golf twice a day, you know, 36 holes and you're buying this to do that. Yeah, you buy the lithium, buy a longer, more powerful battery. But I can tell you that riding around here on these hills and doing the things that we're doing, stop, go, stop, go, get in, get out, we can't put a dent in the battery. So, um, and, and we've, we worked it pretty hard. So again, if you bought one of these carts and you disagree with anything I'm saying, or you agree, we need to hear it in the comments because I think folks needed to hear about the stuff before they make a purchase decision. But I don't believe I gave everyone a good look at the batteries last time we did this. Um, you know, it's just six batteries, not a whole lot to it. If you wanted to do a lithium swap, I think this would be very, very easy to do. It's just a matter of, is that something that you want to do? Uh, one of the last things I really want to talk about that's been my experience that I love is that there is no little square cutout on the pedal that you have to jam down in order to hit the emergency brake. When you stop, the car just stops. It really is handy, you know, especially if you're trying not to make a lot of noise. I have driven this to a hunting blind. I didn't have to stomp that down and then stomp on the gas to release the brake and make a big clicking, banging sound. It's just one of the small things that you realize that you're like, you know what, that's nice. That's a nice touch. The biggest thing I dislike about this cart, which I know they've already fixed, is that it does not have an onboard charger. So if you're looking for where do you plug it in, you plug it in down here, this little flap, and the charger is separate. So the charger module is actually outside of the cart. Uh, they've actually changed that. The newer carts are going to be coming with one integrated into it. And I believe the newer carts are going to have an adjustable steering wheel, which this is actually really comfortable for me, but others may not feel the same way. I hope that you all, you know, I, I, I really just wanted to do a video that's simple and talking about what we do and do not like about this cart and actually answer some of your questions. Um, I think that for $8,000, I think it's a fantastic deal. I think that it does all the things that we expected it to do. It's tougher than I thought it would be. The thing I was going to share with you all that's kind of surprising is that uh, I had my in-laws in town and, you know, they actually bought a golf cart and it was a more premium brand than this one. And they came and rode around on it and spent some time on it. And now they're Rocka owners. They sold the other cart and they bought one of these, which I think is really cool. You know, for them to come here and experience the machine and then say, hey, this is, you know, this is comfortable and we really like this and we love the way it drives and sits and everything else. That's a testament to Rock is doing something right. You know, other than that, you all tell me, what do you think? I think it's a great looking cart. If you're in the market for a golf cart, you know, if you can afford it and it's something you really want to do and you think it's going to be something great for you and your family, then buy it. I just don't think it's going to be the kind of thing you're going to get mad at me saying, hey, Joe, you said that this thing was great and this thing's a piece of junk. It's really not a piece of junk. It is a solid tight machine the only only issue we've had is that roof i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed the video this is more for information and to show you and teach you than it is really to kind of uh 
wow you with editing. I just really want to share an honest opinion of what this cart is, um, what our experience has been, how we've used it, and you know, is this the kind of thing that we think that would make sense? Uh, I think if you're in a suburban area and you also have a second property that's like a hunting property or a vacation property, you need one machine for both, don't buy two machines. I think this would do it um, just fine, especially if you have kids and you want to take multiple people around. I appreciate you watching. I will catch you in the next one. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Hope you'll subscribe. Come see us again. And we'll see you soon. Joe the Farmer. We out.